All right, new day, new boys. Let's see it. New day, new boys. In the morning, I join Ezra in the shop, and as I prepare to leave, waiting patiently while he deals with what sounds like a particularly difficult customer. I eavesdrop while surveying the various interesting books that line the walls, most of them in a language I most definitely don't understand. There's a strange energy in the air, and my senses tell me that Ezra's visitor is also of magical origin. Hey! You really can't just... I don't have a funny nickname for this person. <laughs> You'll come up with one. It was just like ponytail, but they're not the only ponytail person, so... Anyway, you really can't just drop by like this and expect me to have... Wait, did you come you up need. with a nickname for Ezra? Ezra was shrimpy. Okay, yeah, Ezra is shrimpy. You have purple Dracula. Purple Dracula, better purple Dracula, <laughs> and Catboy. Catboy. You really we'll can't... see. We'll see what this one becomes. You really can't just drop by like this and expect me to have what you need right away. These things take time. It's always your excuse. I just think you don't want me to have it. Okay. Still afraid. Still afraid I'll best you, child? Okay. Rudeness. Ezra sighs, apparently not willing to argue or maybe knowing can lose. The tall figure he's bickering with turns to look at me and I'm caught off guard by piercing sky blue eyes. They scowl, their lips pursed as they turn on a towering heel, waving at Ezra dismissively over their shoulder. Oh, hell yeah! They steal their Ooh! They steal their gaze, staring me down, setting me from head to toe. I register the violet sash that adorns her torso and exchange a quick glance with Ezra. He, no he looks apologetic as he emerges from behind the counter to join us. An enforcer, then. One who apparently doesn't feel that it's necessary to wear the standard uniform. Okay! They have a commanding presence about them, and I can't help but wonder what rank they hold. Right now they hold long pretty fingers rank <laughs> so you're my new subordinate interesting oh no <laughs> gus oh gus gus <laughs> gus august oh that's a cute name mm -hmm. i am gonna call them gus though so this is the <laughs> infamous major general wilhelm that i've been assigned to this is your boss damn it <laughs> I don't know why I'm disappointed, but I am. You're disappointed that this is your boss? I don't know. It feels weird. They were rude to Ezra. <laughs> They're a prolific figure in the community, known for being responsible for one of the best hunters Escria has to offer. It would be a true honor to serve under them. Will it be? Though, the way what Ezra the? says their name carries a warning, and August scowls at him briefly before turning their attentions back to me. I notice how tired they look, their eyes heavy, skin pale, and they almost sway where they stand. Apparently Ezra notices too, a flash of concern crossing his features as he quickly rushes to gather some ingredients from a locked cabinet. I have exactly one critique for this artwork, and it's that he should have or it's that they should have deeper bags under their eyes. They okay, should, because I didn't gather that they were tired until I said so. Um my one critique <laughs> at the artist, uh, stop making all your characters so pretty. My one critique is that we have uh, another suspect in a cheekbone crime. <laughs> like, this- look at this- this line. This is savage. You could cut yourself on that. Okay. I got the feeling <laughs> this is a regular occurrence. It's a pleasure, Enforcer Will- Will and Hyde. You do their root, you caress their face, and like- you Hurt yourself! You got, like, you literally paper cut yourself on their cheekbone. <laughs> yes, I know who you are. Your arrival has caused quite a stir, and more than a little paperwork. Oh, I'm so fucking sorry. <laughs> they glance over at Ezra, <laughs> watching as he breaks off a few sprigs from a neatly wrapped bundle of herbs, popping them into a glass vial. The foot taps impatiently on the floor, an exasperated scoff falling from their lips as they turn to look at me once again, eyes rolling. So tell me, Hunter Robin, <laughs> are you ready to partake in one See, I hate that you made your last name Robin. I forgot. <laughs> I hate that you did that. I totally forgot that I did that. That was a microaggression. So t I'm sorry. <laughs> So tell me, Hunter Robin, are you ready to partake in one of the most baffling missions I've come across? Would you look me in the eyes when you say that? Okay. <sighs> I kind of want to be sassy. Of course, General, I'm looking forward to working with you. They quirk a perfectly sculpted brow, lips pursed in contemplation. Put that down. Put it down. Put it down. Ooh. Drop it. <laughs> I was about to say, you don't have permission to carry. I don't like in the voice like you're talking to a dog, you're like, drop it, drop, drop it, it. Drop it! 
And I don't <laughs> tolerate tardiness. Am I tardy? I don't know what I am. If you're capable, we'll get along just fine. Be nice to me. Their unrelenting gaze burns into my own and I swallow thickly, offering them as genuine a smile as I can muster under such scrutiny. I think everything will work out. That won't be as effective. This won't be as effective, but it'll do the job for now. As August and eagerly reaches for the vial, clutched in Ezra's palm, Ezra pulls away, fixing them with a worried gaze. Please, Gus, stop doing this to yourself. They're pushing you too far, and you know it. You're better than this. Yeah, Gus, get a good night's sleep. Listen to this shrimp over here. He knows what he's talking about. Ezra surrenders the vial, the viscous violet liquid glowing dully as August takes it with a trembling hand. Now we both know that's not true. Which part? Ezra's hand covers theirs, and he squeezes once before pulling away, his eyes sad. There's always a choice, remember that. August seems lost for words, but he manages to maintain their carefully crafted did annoyance. They reach for the door with yet another eye roll of their eye. <laughs> God, I can't fucking read. They reach for the door with yet another I am... roll of their eyes. <laughs> My name is Sarah. I majored in literature, and I don't I know I didn't how to major read. in reading. I majored in literature. Okay, what do you do? Like... Do you read in literature class? Uh, no, I just bought all the audiobooks. And that's not true. I did some audiobooks. God, it'd be really funny if that's how you got through literature. Which is by one of my teachers, to the audiobooks. One of my teachers was like, you didn't hear this from me, but here's a free website where you can get these as an audiobook. And I was like, yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. I will not tell anyone. They reach for the door with yet another roll of their eyes, pausing briefly to catch my gaze. I'll see Did you tomorrow. Did their eyes start to hurt after a little bit? Like, to me, it hurts to roll my eyes that many times. Rolling their eyes? I feel like maybe that's part of why they're grumpy. It's because their eyes Yeah, that would make sense. Eye. Maybe they need glasses as well. Okay, bye. We stand outside the shop, the sky bright, but the town somehow still feeling inherently gloomy. If you ever need anything, you know where to find me. Please don't hesitate to stop by. I smile, so incredibly grateful that I stumbled across Ezra. You won't get rid of me if you say that. Hey. Oh, I wouldn't mind. Stop. I'm in love. <laughs> His smile softens, eyes shining. I mean it, though. Anytime. You're literally so adorable. Can I just say that about him? Oh, no, he's he's, he's absolutely perfect. He is like, the team like, mom. He's, 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 he's... I love him so much. Be careful. I will be careful, specifically because you told me to. Thank you, Ezra. I bid him farewell, reluctantly leaving the warmth and safety of the shop behind. It's much less purple outside today, but still kind of purple. I follow... Well, it's not nighttime, so I feel like that has something to do with yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, it's still kind of like the shadows are a little purple. I follow the rickety old street signs that point me towards the tavern, a place- What do you think that is? What? The tavern? Well, no, all this. The city? Can, can you see my mouse? No. Where are you pointing? Oh. Um, under the lanterns, where they attach to that high point, a little bit to your left, up there, go down. All these little bits in the air, what are those, do you think? Sparkles. Valid. Carry on. Uh... <laughs> That's the asbestos. I want to talk about the random, like, brooms just sitting there. I was, I mean, I've literally been thinking about those brooms since we started the game, but I didn't want to, <laughs> like, I had nothing. Well, it's also funny because, like, they never move. It'd be really funny if they did. I, like, I didn't have anything interesting to say about them, so I didn't mention them, but I was thinking in my head, like, oh, which is brooms? Just chilling. This is the Well, as- they could also be for, like, street sweepers, but also you'd think they, that they would they take them home. S- they gotta sweep up all this asbestos snow. Asbestos snow. Yeah. The factory's this way. The factory where they make there the asbestos. There is no factory. There is no factory. The factory where they make the asbestos. And the factory. this is what's coming out of the pipes and getting in all the streets. Okay. <laughs> anyway, rickety old street signs. This is industrialized Tavern. now. It was originally supposed to be like Victorian English and now it's yeah, now it's we're, we're, industri- we're we have into, hit industrialization. Um, yeah, the whole plot is that we're going to be fighting for workers' rights and the right to make more than 3 dollars. Yeah, the enemy's capitalism. Yeah. Cool. We're going to the tavern. <laughs> cleared that up. Sorry, we spoiled it for you. The tavern is bustling. Yeah, like you can turn the video off. Like the rest of us <laughs> yeah, just that's it. Us that's everything. Proving ourselves right. It's full to the brim with red-faced patrons and tables littered with empty tankards. Clean up in here. It's only nine thirty in the morning, but clearly this town likes to drown their sorrows, even if the sun has barely risen. Any D and D town. I push my way to the bar, and a scowling barmaid rolls is, her eyes. Okay, at if me. you think about it, this is basically a D and D party. I was literally thinking that this whole time. I was like. Y'all mind if I steal this plot for a D&D game or nah? Anyway. <laughs> and a scowling barmaid rolls her eyes at me as I politely raise my hand to get her attention. Quit 
rolling your eyes at me. There's a rudeness plague in this town. Uh, I have a room here. Can I check in, please? Barmaid rolls her eyes again and ducks beneath the bar, reappearing with a few sec within a few seconds. Room isn't ready until two. You've got to get... You'll have to get a drink or something. Couldn't I just leave and come back? I muster a polite forced smile, turning to find a table, but... I find myself face to face with a striking, scowling woman who appears to be blocking me entirely on purpose. Okay. Cool pauldron. So this is the famous Hunter Robin that's taken my place here. My place then. Dark blue eyes look me up and down and she scoffs loudly. You don't look like anything special to me. Okay. Come to gloat, have you? Rub it in my face. I had no idea you would be here and I don't know who you are. Do I know you? I mean, I don't... I'm really sorry. Am I supposed to know who you are? Oh, I love how that's phrased. Just rude enough to get away with it. <laughs> the woman looks offended, russet cheeks darkening, her hands firmly fixed to her hips. I glance down and notice the violet sash that's looped around her waist and her simple armor. A hunter too, then. Oh, well, I, I gathered that much from what she said. I'm not dumb. Well, you've come to my town to take my bloody job, so yes, I should expect you know to know who exactly who I am. I really don't, is the thing. Ah, shit. My name's Piper, Piper Merriman, and I'll be keeping a damn good eye on you. Second you slip up, I'll be there, got it? Okay. So, I've really been called here to take Piper Merriman's place? Oh, I do know who that is, darn. She's a legend, having <laughs> racked up more kills than some of the most seasoned hunters, and all at the tender age of 24. Oh, you have an email. <laughs> I do have a message. Um, See, that's what I was worried about. Yeah, we'll was, I was like, hmm, how do I put my Mac on Do Not Disturb? I don't know how technology works. We can just uh, edit. Uh, <laughs> for quick, quick pause, we're going to date the episode. This is during quarantine, hence all the bill discussions. Yeah, I mean, we could just, like, straight edit out that whole, like, take it straight out of the video, like. I'll, I'll probably just blur it or something, but it okay. doesn't really have any personal information. So She's a legend, having racked up more kills. I will take out the stuff talking about. I will take off that, out that quick pause. Yeah, just I blur that whole, messages. or just take it out, yeah. Tender age of 24. Okay. I'm younger than her. I feel terrible. I wasn't told I'd be replacing anyone, and her anger suddenly seems pretty justified. Okay, let's apologize then. I'd be devastated if I was demoted. We work so hard, put our lives on the line, and all while the majority of the enforcers sit safely behind their desks. How bad are things if, like, this legendary, like, prodigy hunter, they're like, nah, you're not doing a good enough job, let's bring in an idiot from somewhere else. Like, things must be fucked up. Yeah, it's a mystery. Holding our fate in like hands that aren't stained with blood. I, I don't remember what I said before. Oh. Talking about the enforcers. The art style changed a little bit. Yes, they have two different artists who work on it. I like that. I like the freckles. I like all of this. I love what I'm seeing. I'm gay. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Opinions on Piper. What what do you think her nickname is? Wife. Wife? Yeah. She steps Valid. closer. Her breath sweet with the smell of rum. Eyes narrowed. Yep, yep, that's a wife. We could always work together. I get the feeling I'll need help. Oh. She continues to look annoyed, but I can tell a more vulnerable emotion lingers beneath this seemingly rock-hard exterior. Yes! Break through the exterior! She swirls the rum around, watching the gentle slosh of it as it coats the side of the glass. I love that detail. Can I just say? Pause? Can I just say? Writers? I love that detail. Right there? I love that detail. Okay. The, the, one of the writers' names is Chris. They're great. Chris? I forget the pronouns. I, Chris? I can't remember if they go by they or she, but yeah, the one who does the majority of writing's name is Chris. Chris? I love that detail right there. Also, uh, if you want, Chris does write, like, or did write in the past, like, fan fiction for their own, own uh, Things. for their own dating sim, and it's pretty good. So. I love that so much. Anyway, Chris, love that detail right there. That's a vivid image right there. I love that. Coming from coming from Sarah, who majored in lit, so she knows what she's talking about. I know about. what I'm talking about. I don't know how I feel about the word slosh, but the rest of it, I'm loving. Are you one of those people who, like, hates the word moist? I don't care about that. I just feel like... <laughs> yeah, I, I don't care about that sort of thing. But sometimes I really it's enjoy, like, the, like, like, the way that the light the is light coming from the side here. And the asbestos dust is, like... 
oh my gosh, my aunt is offering to buy me groceries. Oh my god, hell yeah. Did you see that? Yeah, I, I didn't read it, it, but I saw it pop up. Pause the shit and go tell, go tell her yeah. I'm gonna tell my aunt, please. Yes, well that's what I get from being utterly shit at my job, isn't it? She scoffs a laugh, but the smile that curls at her ruby lips doesn't reach her eyes. Anyway, I'm sure I'll see you in the field. I'm not totally useless, apparently. I am I suddenly feel awful about taking Piper's job. Yeah. But to be fair, it's not really your fault because you're kind of ordered around, but also, fault, yeah, it really but I feel does suck for bad Piper. bad now. <laughs> they just have me doing the shit jobs, like clearing out fey nests, the stuff that doesn't actually matter. Oh. I don't know. I, I, just clearing out fey nests is more exciting okay, than my job. Okay, pause pause one of the things that gets me the most is like they, they make a really awesome world in this like i genuinely enjoy the, the world they fade but like i have done all everything i can to research like fey in this world and there's absolutely nothing like fey almost never come up and huh. it kills me because i want to know about fey in this world like i need to know Chris? it's one of those like things if i get into something i have to find out like all of the lore about it that i possibly can and i can't find out enough about fey so um chris you if... heard it here first get on twitter <laughs> Get on archive of our own. We need some fucking. Uh, we need to know about the Fey. We need like, some please, Fey Chris. lore. I'm dying. And these nests. I'm dying. Okay, okay, we're good. Continue. What a waste. Okay, proud of yourself. Enforcers, eh? What a bunch of pencil pushing wankers. Okay. Oh, I didn't say that British. Wankers. I stay silent, sensing that she might need someone to vent to. Do you want to try the accent yet? Well, not now. I'm on my inner monologue. That she might need someone to vent to. I've been there. Our jobs can be hard, and not just on our own bodies. I can see I'm boring you. I'll just be over there, continuing to drown my sorrows until Willenheim summons me. I feel like getting drunk while being a fantasy cop is not the move, but you do. Uh, I'm going to keep it real with you. There are not enough opportunities to get drunk in this game. Like, you, talk, they talk about it a lot, but... Um, not enough opportunities it's a, like it makes sense but i'm also like please let me get just wasted and try to do my job <laughs> what an asshole <laughs> i do i appreciate the attempt see the thing is me and one of my coworkers will literally like if there's no customers we will talk at a british accent all day long but now that i'm on the spot i like literally don't even know where to start <laughs> well what's also funny is that i'm pretty sure most of the creators of the game are are uh, english so <laughs> <laughs> if they watch this they'll be like they're gonna be because they're pretty involved like chances are they might see this and they'll see us like doing really bad english accents and they'll be like oh my god i oh my god yeah they're they, they they would dislike me as a person but that's okay. i don't think they would dislike you as a person i think they would dislike me as a person. i think they might feel a little bit mocked or they might think it's really funny like Both. maybe they'll just think it's funny i have a laugh covering my mouth and my hand in a poor attempt to stifle the like voice. note that i'm making you do all the voices yeah I don't care. I don't know who this And I are. was the theater major. <laughs> she was briefly amused by my reaction. Love you, brat. <laughs> yeah, my aunt calls me brat. She offers me a thoughtful glance, then sighs loudly. Don't take any shit from them, okay? Okay, come and see me if they bother you. I'm not afraid to stick my boot up their arse. I want to talk about the Again. fact that you just went a little bit Boston there. I really arse. like it. Okay, Piper, but Boston, from Boston. I don't know what people from Boston sound like. Like, not well Did enough. you ever consume um, Yu-Gi-Oh! abridged content? No, I've never consumed any Yu-Gi-Oh! content whatsoever. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. That... I'm blinking a lot about that, so we'll just we'll move on. Okay. Because anyway, I can't imagine it. I'll like, see you around. It, it's a very different way of life. <laughs> she's waiting for me to school. respond, and with a flick of chestnut hair, she's gone. Okay. I spot her disappearing she's perfect. into the heavy crowd that's mulling about in the center of the tavern. That's her wife. A crowd that's apparently pretty bloody angry about something. I hear yelling and I decide to investigate. Here's your boy. Might as well get- <gasps> Purple Dracula? Or is it dog boy? Might as well it's get stuck boy. in right. I push my way into the crowd and what I find both baffles and amuses me. Please tell me he's doing a, a, a like and I'm a little disappointed that he's not doing keg stands in the middle of the bar, but I, that's I thought okay. it was going to be an arm wrestling contest. Sat smack bang in the middle of the tavern, arms folded across his chest defiantly. He has a smirk plastered across his scarred lips, eyes twitching dismissively as a small crowd of pissed off townsfolk hoot and holler at him. If I didn't know he was Catboy, the ears twitching dismissively would have really thrown me off. I would have been like, what are they doing over there in, in, 
in England. Get out, Get of-, out of here, you furry scum. <laughs> yeah, me too. That's literally me, like, talking to... Yeah, furry scum. Talking to people on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah, pretty yeah. sure when I sent this... To- when I started playing it, I sent this to you and Jamie. Like... I think you did. I sent a screenshot of this. <laughs> to make a joke. Get out of here, you furry scum. <laughs> You're typing welcome here. From a toothy woman. I, I, I love so. this. You were doing this awesome Cockney British... A Cockney Bostonian like combination. My Cockney Boston me. British. Like, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> the lichen puffs a laugh, grabbing his drink and taking a swig, uncaring, maybe even pretending they aren't there. Honestly, he seems perfectly harmless, but I hold that thought as my eyes drift to his chest where his flimsy torn shirt is spread open. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, this is another a man mark. with his titties out. A mark. An enforcer brand. Maybe not quite so harmless then. Oh boy, a bad boy. As far as I'm aware, a creature is only marked if they're on the enforcement agency watch list. Then why is he wearing his shirt open for everyone on Earth to see that he's a bad boy? If they're deemed deadly. Ooh. He spots me, scarlet eyes flashing, and then he's kicking out the chair in front of him, gesturing for me to sit down. And I'm just going to because of who I am. I want to imagine the way he kicked it out because I'm imagining that, like, he just, like, curls up his legs and just, like, pushes both of them out, like... (laughs) I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Can you, like, see it? Like, it's, it's just, like, really dramatic. Despite the presence of such a brand, my instincts tell me I'm safe, that he won't hurt me, so I oblige. I don't know if I... I mean, I you're tr- in a huge crowd of people, That's so true. chances are he's not gonna just, like, attack you. Like, you in the middle of everything. So I oblige. The tavern falls deadly silent as I take a seat, and they slowly begin to disperse. Yeah, you're welcome. Their eyes stay firmly fixed upon both myself and the lichen as we're finally left alone. I don't know if that's considered. Bi- oh, <laughs> what's what's that sound mean, Sarah? It means big scar. <laughs> it means big scar. You you I do like the big scar, like don't you? Big scar. I like big scar. I am. Enjoying, and you cannot lie. I enjoy big scar, and I cannot lie. And I also like three belts, and I like ear. Do you piercing. like these two pairs of he ears? He has two pairs of ears and two ear, three ear piercings. The two on the cat ear and one on the like he just went all out with the ear piercings he did and he's the first person to not have like icicle blue eyes or something stupid like that no offense to the writers i i i think the whole trope is stupid not just not you using it he has a hood on this isn't tattered to be fair they're all drawn really pretty they are very beautiful i mean to be fair the writers knew what they were like they they do have piercing icicle blue eyes um (laughs) it's an accurate descriptor it's not blue like limpid tears these Buttons are useless. Does he have a tail? <gasps> Does he have a tail? Yeah, this bitch has a tail. This bitch has got a tail. Okay, cowboy. He's not the only bitch with a tail. They're lucky I kept my cool, wouldn't you say, Hunter? My name is Sarah. I wouldn't want to piss you off. You seem harmless. I feel like this is funny because he does not seem harmless, so I'm going to say Literally, that. do whatever you want. You seem harmless. I just want to walk you through my, my, my thought process. You seem harmless enough. I think I could handle you. Oh, no, I like your thought process, so don't worry about it. But if you're saying anything because you're like, is this an okay option to pick? No. This is totally, like, you pick a thing. I don't want your opinion whatsoever. I'm telling you what we're doing. <laughs> no, I have done, like, every option except for... I was not rude to Piper. The only option that I haven't picked that you picked... Was when uh, I was rude to Piper? And the Was when you were rude to Piper, because that's the one... Like, I played this game multiple times and picked, like, almost every choice, but I refuse to be rude to Piper. Well, now you know what happens if you're rude to Piper. I mean, I guess I do. Um, his brows draw together in a deep scowl, but he still looks relatively relaxed, playful even. Oh my god, puppy! Okay, sorry, I don't, the word playful, like, <laughs> set me off. Oh, you do, do you? Care to test that theory? Like, right here, right now in the tavern? One of his- I'm a wrestling match. Oh shit, please? One of his ears I know it's- you don't get to. And I can't help but smile at the loose threat. Bro, you got bandages on your hand, are you good? Maybe another time. Girl, why are you chicken? How about you tell me your name and why you apparently have a death wish? He bristles his tail, wrapped around, wrapping around the leg of his chair as he places his now empty tankard upon the table, the noise drawing a gasp from nearly every single patron. Really? The noise of him setting his tankard down? Just, okay, y'all are wimps. I imagine it's like one of those like cartoons where like everyone is just watching like the one character yeah. in the bar. And so like they do anything and everyone makes a really dramatic response. I don't know why, but the first thing I thought of was Gaston from. Oh, I thought about Shrek. Beauty and the Beast. Him too. T- t- two two brothers. This in is arms. just Wolf Boy Shrek. Oh no! Don't call him Wolf Boy Shrek. I'm gonna call him Wolf Boy Shrek. No, he's a cat boy, <laughs> even though he's a dog. 
<laughs> I glance over at Piper, who sits in the corner, either oblivious or uncaring. She's like, well, yeah, he's I'm... supposed to have like a Scottish accent, so uh, Wolf Boy Shrek is very accurate, no in my idea. personal opinion. How to distinguish a Scottish accent? I mean, if I heard it, I would be able to do it, but I don't know how to do it. Have Scottish you heard David accent. Tennant talk? I've heard. No, I can distinguish. Have it. you watched Shrek? I have watched. I, I said I know how to tell them apart. I couldn't do it <laughs> to save my life. And his name is Alcar, and he doesn't have a death wish today anyway. Oh, well, that's kind of sad. Okay, I like your eyebrows, dude. Only today. He smiles, folding his arms back across his chest. He leans back in his seat, relaxing, his tension vis visibly melting away, his tail wagging. I like that you just added in his tail's wagging. Well, his tail was wrapped around the chair. I'm imagining if he's relaxed now, it came un unwrapped. You don't need to concern yourself with me, Hunter. I stay far away from your kind, from everyone, really. Then why did you invite me to sit down? I think you're playing fake bad boy here, you goobus. Okay. Unless they come looking for me, of course. Can I have your, like, number? I could come looking for you. Can I have your fantasy number? <laughs> Can I have your fantasy phone number? Can I have your fantasy phone number? He glances over his shoulder, catching Piper's glaze. Glaze! <laughs> Gaze. Glaze. He catches her glaze. Catching Piper's glaze donut in his catch. hand as he goes. Yeah. Okay. I'm sensing some tension. She flips him off, and he turns back around to face me, his shoulders shaking with quiet laughter. I'm sure you'll grow to despise me in time, just like every other idiot in this stupid town. No way. No way. It's very like Jason Dean from Heathers of Him. Yes. Yeah! Sorry. I have to do that for every single, like, art CG? that we get. Yeah. He stands and all the patrons stiffen. Sorry, I just want to look for a second. I just want to look. You're so valid. I love that scar. I love those perfectly clean cut eyebrows. Those are Instagram eyebrows. You can tell right here in the middle. Where it gets a little thinner, that's Instagram eyebrow right there. Second of all... I still have no idea how people do those. They don't. I don't know. The, if you watch this video in the comment section, I need you to explain Instagram don't, eyebrows to me. I don't okay. want to know. Um, if I wanted to know, <laughs> well, I'd I watch do, that so. video of the girl drawing a face on an egg. Um, this highlight <laughs> yeah, that one's pretty good. is popping. These piercings, they know what I'm after. I love that they're mismatched. We got silver on the ears, gold on the ears. Love, do you think you found your boy? Love the hair. Oh my god, he's got, like, dog, like, when dogs have little, little tufts, tufts of, of hair. Her. Yeah! Oh my god, that's, I love this. I'm loving this look. Anyway, he stands and all the patrons stiffen. It's so quiet you could hear a pin drop, and I'm pretty sure almost everyone has stopped breathing. Alcar rolls his eyes and flashes me a grin. He looms over me, close enough that I can smell the earthy, distinct... I don't know how to pronounce that word. Petricor. Continue sharing with me! Petrichor's scent of him. Strangely pleasing for a man who looks like he hasn't washed in days. Really? I thought this was poppin' highlight, but it's just grease. <laughs> I thought this was poppin' highlight, but it's just grease. <laughs> quarantine mood. <laughs> he looms over yeah, me. Yeah, very quarantine mood. I can smell him, and he's dirty. And If my advice is worth anything to you, then trust me when I say to trust no one. Your advice is not worth much to me, dude. <laughs> I already trust... Uh, Your concern is noted, and I don't care. <laughs> I trust Ezra. I trust Ezra's boyfriend. I trust... We trust Ezra. You. Like, that's I trust you, cat boy. I trust you right now. Um, he stares me down, waiting, watching. What do you want me to say? <laughs> Even you? Damn, where'd I get these guts? He smiles at that. Scoffs. To be fair, your job is, like, murdering... Especially me. Uh, the things that go bump in the night, so I don't think you have a lot of fear. Is. Especially me. I love his scar. I'm sorry. I can't get over it. Okay. Goodbye, Hunter. You're valid. Bye. I love you. I watch him leave. Bye, bitch. Feeling everyone's gaze upon me. I'll take a fantasy picture. It'll last longer. I can pose myself and offer them a smile as genuine as I can muster after such an odd introduction to this strange little town. So if he's on... You just smile at everyone in the It tavern. took a long time. Um, so if he's on the fantasy FBI watch list and he's got a big old brand on his chest, mm -hmm. why, shouldn't he be arrested? No, the brand means he was arrested. Oh, so the brand, so he's free now? It, yes, but he's on the watch list. But he's on the watch list. Okay, so he didn't, it's not like a arrest this man symbol. It's like a watch out for this man symbol. Brand. I guess. Okay. Um, you'll see. They'll talk about it more. Anyway, I'm going to muster an odd introduction to the strange little town. Okay. 
I glance at the clock and it's only 10.30. Wow. I have some time to kill. <laughs> okay, this is how I yes. like to kill time. This is yes. my favorite You just gotta time. go to the graveyard. You're like, I need to kill time. I should go to the graveyard. I should, I should just I chill like, in the graveyard. I should head to my favorite spot, the local library. No way. I'm headed to the mausoleum. Check it out. I, I don't know that they have libraries in it's fantasy decrepit. Victorian England. It's decrepit. It's got vines growing up in it. It's my style. Look at this statue. She's terrifying with her little creepy oh. hands. I love it here. Look at this mausoleum. We should break into the mausoleum. Hmm, I got 45 minutes till I need to be in work. What should I do? Should I go get a Starbucks? No, I'm going to head down to the mausoleum. Okay, anyway. The town is small, very small, and it takes me less than an hour to walk it from end to end. I find myself drawn to the cemetery. The scent of blood thick here. Okay. This is the site of the last murder, and I come across a patch of scorched grass. The urch around... Urch. The earth around it trampled. Urch. The remnants of a crumpled gravestone are littered around the perfect black outline of a body, and I take a deep breath. I crouch down, skimming my fingers over the dead grass. I close my eyes and try to picture it, but it's hard knowing how stark the darkness is here. It's a blur, a mere memory, but I feel terror. They were so scared, utterly alone in their final moments, except for whoever killed them. But something sticks out over all that fear. Betrayal. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I love you. The words hit me hard, my chest aching, and I feel an intense longing. Oh, love. It's powerful, unconditional, so much that it snatches the breath from my lungs. I take a deep breath and force myself to stand, trying to shake the feeling. I'll find out who killed you, I swear it. I'm startled by the sudden sound of heavy footsteps, my hand hovering over my weapon. Dracula? I look around frantically, on guard, ready, and then... The striking figure appears. Dracula! He's clad- Why do you keep calling him Dracula? That's He's the not a vampire. I gave him. He's clad in fine clothing, his long hair tied in a neat ponytail, the crown of his head adorned with delicate jewelry. And he's adorable. <laughs> he's smiling? Yeah, he's having a good time in his favorite place, the graveyard. Hello, Hunter. I've really been looking forward to meeting you. Hello. I should be unsettled, the pointed teeth and sharp claws indicating he's definitely not human. This is like the ninth one you've met today who's not human. <laughs> yeah, it's really like, just it's like, fine. at this point you gotta get over like, it. Like, it's sometimes like, people it's like aren't human. Get with the program. This is your job. Like, I'm like, how close-minded am I where I'm like, oh my god, something that's not human. Like, you, come on. I think it's just not common for them to live I'm amongst humans like this, close is my understanding. minded Anyway, I should be unsettled, but I'm not, because he's handsome. Then he flick the flicker of a tail tells me all I need to know. He's a little devil boy. He's a glamoured demon, okay. Though, I'm finding it hard to be alarmed by his presence. His eyes are a warm chestnut brown, and they sparkle in the dappled sunlight as he gazes at me in wonder. Finally, some brown-eyed representation. Yo, fucking mood. I mean, I'm not going to kill him, so I'm not going to say don't move. You have? I forgot what he said, but you have? You've been expecting me? There we go. I watch as his cheeks darken, his gaze dropping to the grass. I love that he wears red. He's like, yeah, I'm a demon and I'm going to wear red. It's cool. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, well, people talk and I listen. I really hope I didn't scare you. You're good. Does he have piercings on his tail? Uh, Yeah. I cannot stress this enough. <laughs> I love that. I cannot stress this enough. I love that. I love that. I love that for him. I love that for me. I love that for everyone. Kudos to the artist. Kudos to the artist for putting piercings on that tail. I love it. Anyway, he's certainly not <laughs> like any other demon I've encountered. The not trying to kill me helps. You didn't, but it's okay. How do you kiss with these big ass under tusks? Very carefully. How do you kiss? How do you think a vampire kisses? You just you gotta be really careful. I think they bite your lips so and that like you don't do the fangs. Kill you. You sure? I'm kind of used to startling people here. I thought I had a darker skin tone on the loading screen. Maybe I dreamed that. I promise. I've I think seen it was the lighting. Scarier. He laughs, his tail flicking. I'm certain you have. 
his tail flicking. Aw, I feel no threat from him. And his aura is calm, if not a little skittish. Yes, skittish demon boy. He's hard to read, and that's frustrating, but not necessarily alarming. So what's your name? The demon exhales sharply, apparently relieved that I'm making conversation rather than contemplating killing him. I'm not! Okay, whatever. Omen. That is a good name. That's a good name. I, there are a lot of things to like here about Omen. One, boy chest. Two, <laughs> tail piercing. Three, Omen is a cool name for a demon. And what's on his forehead? He's wearing a... No, no, no. Like, under the like hair. Like the tattoo? Yeah. He's got a tattoo up there? Yeah. That's cool. Pointed ears, number four. Uh, that's all I have right now, but come back later for more points on why we stand Omen. What kind of Omen? Uh, what does that mean? I mean, I know what that means. I mean, it's, it's just kind of like teasing. I do like teasing. I do like teasing. Well, you found the right boy. I feel a smile curling at the corner of my lips. Are you a good omen or a bad one? That, see, that's a different question than what kind of omen to me, and I would have picked that if that had been what it had said. Anyway, his lashes flicker, and I quickly realize he may not be versed in bad jokes. Oops. I, what? Uh, don't worry. I'm just being a dumbass. God, me meeting anyone. To be fair, this is not his first language. He is a demon. Reason to like him number five. Multilingual. <laughs> God, it just keeps coming with him. It's nice to meet you, woman. I'm Sarah. So, are you okay? Yeah? Did something happen? Should I not be okay? I have a quiet laugh, yet again perplexed by the wonderfully weird inhabitants of this town. Yeah, I like it here. He's certainly the most polite demon I've ever met. I nod once, offering him a small, genuine smile. I'm fine, thank you. I'm just overwhelmed. Uh, this is a strange little town, isn't it? Owen oh, laughs, the sound musical, infectious, causing my own smile to widen. Aww. That's being polite. It's more than strange. It's a mess. A mess I and many others hope you can fix. I'll do my best. I grimace, my gaze drifting back down to the place where the last murder victim lay. I sigh, mustering as much confidence as I possibly can. I can do this. I can do this! I can solve these murders. I can solve these murders! So, no pressure then. Omen shrugs playfully, his pale cheeks flushed a charming shade of pink as I catch his gaze. No pressure at all. Welcome to Lunaris. Thank you! Okay, and that, that oh. being done, I think this is where we need to save and quit for this time. Okay! Because it is the end of chapter one, which is a really good place to end. You can tell that I play this game a lot. Because um, <laughs> each page has six slaves... Six save slots, six. and uh, <laughs> I have used uh, 60 of those save slots. Oh my god. Um, 60 look, save slots. Look, I really like this game. I can tell. Um, I really love the world. It's really good. Um, but yeah, so um, I think we'll call it quits. Well, I'm having today. a fantastic time. We'll call it quits for this record, for this uh, yes. thing, this quote unquote episode, but we are going to keep recording of for course. the next one, so... Um, if you're watching this, see you next week and bye. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs>